I think this thing is actually ready to test. No, I think I can test it on this canal a little bit. So I got the boat out. Just ignore the tools and the boots everywhere for the moment. And we're parked. This is one of my favorite inventions ever, the parking poles. Yeah, this, this PVC pipe goes up, but right now it's shoved down into the bottom. So we're parked right here. And hopefully, hopefully, I can use this silly machine to suck some muck out and shoot it over that path to the other side. What do you think? Good. Good what? I don't know. So I had this pulley, pulley thing from when I did this before. It looked like it was still useful. I stole the electricity from my motor, which concerned my three-year-old quite a bit, actually. And, uh, all right, let me just turn on the power. I'm not sure if I connected the wires the right direction, but... Oh. Alright, hopefully that's backwards because nothing's getting sucked up. Let me reverse. Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. I actually had it the right direction at first. And we're getting some... Yeah, we're getting some coming out of there. We're also getting some... Hold on, some leaks here. Well, that's fine. I'm, these are expected leaks. I'm hoping for more water flow than that. Alright, I just had to get it going. Now we got some muck coming out of there. Alright, it's starting to clear up. Let's move to a new spot. Yeah, man. Maybe I want to uh, get this to leak a little bit less. Although that's not a big deal. I mean, if some comes out here, whatever. As long as most of it... There we go. But yeah, the boat... So any muck that comes in here is just going to go right back out. But most of it should go out. Yeah, that's what I want right there. I need this to be up a little higher. All right, yeah, I need both hands. All right. Ah, no, there we go. We found a muck spot. Way over on the side over there. Yeah, this is like way, way over there somewhere. I think it's actually working pretty well. Ah, it'd be nice to get another piece of this size pipe that fits on there. Although this is working all right. The thing I want to change right now though is the angle of this. Because right now it's pumping, pumping the muck all the way up to this height and then I just lose a bunch of height right there. So I don't actually have to pump it up that high, right? Like I'm, so that means I could put the motor and everything lower so it doesn't have to pump as high if I change the angle so it's either aiming straight back this way and then going or if it just turns back that way maybe maybe I'll have it keep coming this way and then this whole thing can be kind of up here and then I can lower the entire thing all right tell me what's coming out tell me clear or chocolate we want chocolate, as dark as we can get. Alright, let me move it around, see if I can find the, the muck. Oh, I think I found some muck. Maybe? Nah, wait. I think this area might be pretty... Oh wait, no, over here. Yeah, there's some muck over here, I can feel it. I don't know, this is a pretty cleared out spot over here. Oh, here we go, here we go.
Oh, I've never been so excited about muck before. Ah, yeah, uh, it's clearing up. Better go in and move it. <laughs> yeah, we're getting pretty good flow now though. I just made the adjustment up here so that I was aiming up. Yeah, I just did what I said. And uh, yeah, it seems to be working really well now. All right, let me move this around a little. Oh, look at those leaky pipes. It totally doesn't matter though. That bit of drippage goes down the hole. It's almost all going out the thing over there, so I think this is totally fine. This is all flexible, and that's the most important thing, because I need to move this around a lot. And I'm thinking, maybe I do this every every year or two, go up and down the canal. I can probably do the whole canal in a day. Maybe half a day, I don't know, if I do a really good job, it'll probably take a day to, to clear out a whole canal. And then I won't have to, uh, you know, worry about getting in and out during low tide. Because that's the problem, when, when muck starts filling in the canal during low tide, I'm, I'm scraping against the muck. And then there's more leaves and muck and junk collect in here. Oh, I gotta move this. You know, it's like I can get in and out at less low tide, like less percentage of the time. But yeah, after I get this all mucked out, I should be able to get in and out, no problem. High tide, low tide, whatever. Well, I am quite happy with that test. Okay, once I got, once I got this part adjusted, right? Yeah, that worked. That was great. I probably just sucked out like a full foot of muck out of the bottom of the canal here. Like 30 centimeters, just pfft. And it's all over there now. Oh, that's beautiful. I think I better go make some dinner. I think I have some hungry kids. Oh, I'm a hungry kid. Ah, oh, that's good. Sure is nice having a big platformy boat with a nice power supply so I can do this kind of stuff. <laughs>